Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats show. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with our football expert Daniel Burke. Daniel, over the next couple of episodes, we're going to talk about the one thing everybody wants to talk about right now, Arizona football and what freshmen and newcomers can compete for playing time here in the fall. We're going to start with offense because everybody loves offense. Everybody. All right, let's talk uh, freshmen who can really sort of step in and compete for playing time. I know Rich Rodriguez doesn't necessarily like handing jobs to newcomers, but there's a couple guys who I think uh, people are going to have to know about. Absolutely. I think, you know, he, like you said, he doesn't like handing them jobs, but he also is going to play the best players. And the, as he always says, the guys that give him the best chance to win. You know, we know that line. So I think the, the biggest name and the guy that they need to come in and compete is Nick Wilson at running back. I mean, you look at their running back situation right now, and it, I think it's borderline worrisome. You know, they've lost Pierre uh, Cormet to the, to the uh, career-ending injury. Kadeem Carey's obviously gone if you hadn't heard that yet. Um, so now, did he end up in the NFL? He is, yeah. I think oh, he's playing. Yeah, good so I don't. Something happened. I, th I think we covered that. But uh, anyways, so I think Nick Wilson's going to have to come in yeah. and make an impact and play right away. Um, and if he's as good as they say he is, that shouldn't be that big of a problem. Um, if he doesn't come in and play right away, then all of a sudden things get murky. So and to me, when we talk about incoming freshmen on offense, Nick Wilson's the headliner. You know, the four-star kid out of Fresno, California. They call him Mini Kadim. Mm -hmm. They wanted to give him number twenty-five. I think he said no. Thanks. Thanks. I'll, I'll try something else to start, um, but he but he's a guy. When when you talk about offense, you know that's the first name that comes into my head. We've seen Kadeem Carey, Daniel, be sort of the bell cow running back for the last couple of years. Seems to me like it would be a little insane to expect a true freshman to take on that kind of workload. What are they going to do to try to take some of the pressure off the running back here in the fall? Yeah, I think that's a great point because even Kadeem, you know, his freshman season, he wasn't the guy. It took him a year. So I, I think they're going to, they're going to, Rich Rodriguez loves to be creative and he's going to get creative, whether that's giving Devontae Neal and TJ Johnson and Samaji Grant uh, a combined 15 to 17 carries a game or, or, or doing something else that they know they cannot rely on Nick Wilson to be that Kadeem carry type. So they'll get creative. Redshirt freshman Zach Green will, will get some uh, reps there. There, so th they'll try everything to, to try to take some pressure off of Nick. And, and, and if the quarterback is a runner and, and a couple of Arizona's potential candidates are runners, that might make it even easier on the starting tailback, don't you think? Yeah, if it's if it's Gerard Randall, it'll make it a lot easier. But if it's Jesse Scroggins, it won't. So or Connor Brewer. Um, so yeah, I think a lot depends on that. You know, we're talking about incoming freshmen here, and Brandon Dawkins is the guy at quarterback. Now I'd be shocked if if he plays right away, like Nick Wilson. I mean, I just you know we, we saw last year with Anu Solomon just how hard it is to grasp this this offense. And Brandon Dawkins has been here all summer. He's working out with the guys, but it's different when you don't have Rod Smith and Rich Rodriguez uh, over your back telling you this and that and coaching you. So you essentially have three weeks before the you know before they need to pick a starter or at least have an idea and it's really tough. So I think Brandon Dawkins, I think they're really excited about him. Uh, the kid can, can throw it a mile like the rest of these guys, like Scroggins and Randall, but I think he's probably a year away from being able to uh, contribute. This is the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. Ryan Finley here with Daniel Burke. Daniel, one more before we sign off here. Cam Denson is a guy who people locally know. Best player on South Point Catholic's state championship team. A guy that can play both cornerback and wide receiver at the college level. You see him starting more as a wideout, though, don't you? I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, the coaches and, and Cameron and everyone swears he's going to play more at wide receiver. Mm -hmm. But with what's happened at cornerback and some of the departures that they've had there and how thin they are there and how good Cameron Denson was at that position in his high school career, I still think as a true freshman there's going to be more playing time for him available at corner than there is at wide receiver. So I think he'll play wide receiver. I think he's going to play both ways. I think Rich Rodriguez has been clamoring to have a guy like that, like a Miles Jack. You can play both ways. So I think he can make an impact at wide receiver, but there's so much there already. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see him make a bigger impact at corner. But, you know, when we had Matt Dudek on this show last month. You know, I asked him about Cameron Denson. We're doing word association. He said, "Future star, future Kadeem Carey. I mean, type type impact guys as a city guy. So wherever he plays, they feel like he can he can make a big impact. Okay, and we're going to talk about defense on the next show. Yes. That is, they say, because people still love defense. That is another show. That's exactly, another show. exactly. Defend for, to win. For Daniel Burke, I'm Ryan Finley. This is the Arizona Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. We'll see you next time. Try this matchup: low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.